Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with ya. Just got a package on my door and thought I would do a kind of an unboxing for you. Just mainly because of the fact that this is uh, a package I got from AIM Surplus. It's a package deal that uh, they're selling right now that is still available if you are interested, as at least at the, at the time that I'm making this video. So uh, go up to AIM Surplus if you're interested in getting some of this stuff, check it out. But what it is, it's the uh, Polish AK-47 762x39 30-round magazine kit is what it's listed as. It's supposed to essentially be just an AK-47 magazine kit that comes with four magazines, Polish surplus, uh, a sling I believe, an uh, oil can, a cleaning kit, and uh, a bayonet if I remember correctly. So uh, this entire package was listed at, uh, what was it, uh, $99.95 and took about uh, $13.35 shipping and handling, so $113.30 total. So actually not too bad of a deal if uh, you know the, the magazines are in decent shape here. It uh, should be about $25 a magazine, and then everything else on top of that was pretty much free uh, for the uh, rest of the remainder of the items in this box. So, got a good, some good package shipping. Um, I got this from, like I said, AIM Surplus. They did uh, a really fast job of getting this out to me. It took probably less than three days shipping and two days from the time I made the order for them to actually ship it. So you know maybe five days max from time of order to get it to my door so uh, overall real good shipping which for you know fourteen dollars i would have expected i guess but uh... in this market condition a lot of these um, vendors and stuff are claiming they're three four weeks behind and everything so it's nice to get it uh... up front so we got uh... the magazine pouch here it looks like a magazine type pouch it looks like a standard surplus definitely not new got some leather straps, the uh, OD green. It's got a cleaning kit inside here. This is probably just a standard AK-47 cleaning kit. It's got kind of a nice patina to it though, so I know again it's not, uh, it's definitely not new um, make. It's it's gonna got to be surplus, at least that's what I'm thinking, but a uh, nice solid unit. It's not some plastic chintzy thing. It also comes with a um, surplus bayonet, or I'm sorry, surplus sling, and uh, again OD green and show some wear to it so it's probably surplus I don't think it's been used but it's uh, got a little bit of fade to it so it's probably been sitting around for a long time overall nice little sling and uh, I think there's also a tin in here for oil and that was it oil and uh, lubricant or I can't remember what the other thing that they put in there but that's what you got for that it's a nice little oil can it's actually not covered in Cosmoline, which is a plus, but there's definitely some uh, corrosion on here towards the back of the, the necks of these bottles. So, But, uh, you know, it's not too bad. Like I said, most of this stuff was technically free if you think about it, considering that you get four surplus magazines in here. And it um, doesn't look like they're coated in Cosmoline at all. It does feel like they have maybe a little bit of a, some sort of oil on them, but... Uh, it's got some wear to it. It's got some patina. The bluing is worn off on a lot of the ribs. Uh, it is complete all steel construction. It's got a steel follower it looks like. Um, I don't see any markings or anything that jumps out at me except for the serial number on the back of the rib here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but it's listed as 07732. And then it also has a I don't know, it seems to be a uh, yellow marker of some sort that says 14437 uh, or 31, I can't really tell. That almost looks like it's written on there, so I don't know what that's all about. And then there is a 25 down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, supposedly, again, these are Polish makes, so uh, I would have to say they're definitely used just because of the, the wear on the ribs, the bluing and everything, but they look like they're in great shape, so... Overall, shouldn't be, shouldn't have been a bad buy. Now this one's definitely got a lot better bluing to it. Uh, there's not as much worn on it. Uh, feels like the spring maybe be a little bit tighter on there. Uh, I'm not seeing any marking in the bottom left-hand corner on this one, and I'm not showing any numbers stamped into this one either. So this one is a unnumbered, uh, no markings magazine. But, uh, these are all 30-round steel construction. This one is uh, about the same as the second one. 
again I'm not showing any markings or numbers or anything on this one so uh, but overall not showing any uh, wear or corrosion on these which is a real good plus and then again uh, the last one here got number four and this is like the first one it's got a little bit of wear on the ribs the bluing is uh, worn away a little bit it does seem like it's got some uh, almost dried cosmoline, real old dried cosmoline on there. I don't really know what that's from. Almost got a mold appearance to it, but um, I don't see any numbers on this one either or markings of any kind. But overall, nice solid unit. This one uh, seems like it's in pretty good working condition too. So, four magazines. And the last thing here would be uh, what I'm guessing is a Polish bayonet. And unfortunately, I don't know for sure is the listing on AIM surplus didn't really give you a, a real good description of what it was it just kind of listed it as the package so uh, but it's got the scabbard all blue uh, all steel I should say it's got a number of 9791 on there and I do see that there's a number on the, the blade here which is also it almost looks like 9791 so I think I got a matching set here looks like it's got a Bakelite handle with Actually, one of the better looking ba uh, Bakelite handles that I've seen compared to a lot of the Romanian ones. This one's got kind of a nice color and uh, just a nice feel and form to it. So it's got the steel um, handle there where you can plug it into a locking nut. And uh, let's go ahead and take it out here. Looks like it's got a, one of these plastic frogs on the side of it. And uh, a leather thing for the belt, which is kind of nice take that apart a little bit but overall looks like it's a nice bayonet it's uh doesn't have any serrated edges it does have a back edge right here that goes from right about there to there so that's kind of interesting it does have the wire cutter function built in that you can use with the scabbard uh, but a real nice blade if you notice there it's just got a real nice profile to it it's not super sharp which a lot of these aren't but just a real nice bayonet. Uh, again, really, if you think about it, for $100 for the whole package, this was just a free add-on if you consider the magazines at $25 a pop or thereabouts. So, real good deal, guys. I think for uh, you know $113 with shipping and handling, it's it definitely played out as a pretty decent deal. Uh, if you guys are looking for some AK-47 magazines and some additional accessories to go with it, this would be the way to go. Again, it's AIM Surplus. And uh, they had, uh, I think, over 100 in stock by the, the, the time I made this video. So, uh, again, jump out there as I'm sure this will sell off pretty quick. So, if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Otherwise, uh, if you have any information on any of this stuff that I maybe missed or I'm not aware of, feel free to let me know. And uh, as always, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, take it easy.